Hello and welcome to a quick overview of how to use the Import Google Sheets custom step in SAS Studio. Let's open up a flow and drag in the Import Google Sheets step. Here you can now find the interface which will allow you to define all the necessary interactions to download publicly available Google Sheets directly into SAS. Go to your target Google Sheets and make sure before you can use it that it's publicly available. That means you don't need to be signed in with your Google account and you don't need permissions to use this. If you are the creator of a sheet, you can see this by looking at the share button and have the specification anyone with the link. Then we are going to get the ID of the Google sheet, the general sheet from the URL. It's the string of numbers, letters, and other symbols that's between the d slash d slash and slash at the end. So let's copy that from the URL, go back to SAS Studio, and enter it into the Google Sheet ID input field. Next, we can enter the worksheet ID. If you leave it at zero, that means it will download the first sheet that's available when you open up this Google Sheet. You can also see this in the URL by the GID in the URL, which is set to zero for the first one. Let's quickly look at the second sheet within this Google Sheet. And now you can see a different ID appears while the main ID of the Google Sheet stays the same. This ID you would then take to enter into this enter the worksheet ID input field. I will leave it at zero so that we will download this first table from Google Sheets. Next, we can specify the number of guessing rows. This is important if you have different file types or different column values that change over time. So for the import to work correctly and not import something wrong, you can specify the amount of rows that best represent your data. Do note though, if you have a lot of columns, uh, a lot of rows, this can lead to a large amount of calculation and time spent on the import step. So give it a reasonable amount that will represent your data. Our data set is rather small with only 10 actual data rows. So we can also set it to 10. Finally, we will add a table where we will store the output of this Google Sheet. I'm just going to put it into work and call this G Sheet. You can, of course, call this whatever you like. And let's run this. You can do this by hitting F3 on your keyboard or clicking the Run button. And now our table has imported. So let's go to the work library and see our G Sheet. And in fact, we have 10 rows, we have four columns, and we can see all the data that we saw in Google Sheets. So now go to the second page, get the GID from the URL by just double clicking it, copy it. Let's go back to our flow and let's change the worksheet ID in the step and let's rerun this. This will replace our GG table. And let's open this table back up again. And now we can see the data from the second worksheet, which is, has a state Illinois at the top, while this one had like job titles and stuff. So this will help you to easily grab and pull into your SAS environment publicly available Google Sheets. Have fun with this step and let me know if you have any feedback.